Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to the series where we get all the Creation Club mods starting from level one. Now, we're still continuing the build-up of our character, and I have to say, doing this series and having to think about my character build, I'm starting to really appreciate some of these mods more and more. And this, the Bone Wolf mod, is one such. And I'll explain why later on. Anyway, let's go get it. Okay, this is a nice, easy little uh, quest to get. Okay, let's uh, try and put some light on this. Dark necromax is attacking innocence. Sounds like a job for a dashing hero and a handsome scholarly companion. Okay, we're down near a uh, solitude, and uh, oh, so this is really easy to get. To be honest with you. Now, also, the good thing about this mod, this mod will always be useful for you. Um, whatever level you're playing at, right throughout the whole game. This this is a, a very useful mod with the perks it gives you. And I'll go through all that at the end of the, uh, uh, the video. It's amazing how I can swim in my armor with a, a shield on my back. Lear's a damn fine swimmer. Oops. Oh. Yeah, good night. So, Bone Wolf, where are you? Yeah, these are, there's an update on this in February last year, I think, or maybe even a couple of years ago, uh, where these kind of randomly spawn around the area now. Uh, the weakest hell enemies, though. Well, what's happened? Has it gone into the tree? Oh, it doesn't matter. There's crappy loot around here, to be honest with you, I think. Yeah, that's pretty rubbish. Oh, loads of ingredients to grab around here, like death bells and stuff like that. Definitely worth doing. Take the time to run around and uh, pick up that stuff. Okay, that's it. Uh, just a quick FYI, I completely forgot to give him the totem bone, so I got back to White Run and he didn't follow me. So uh, make sure you give him the totem uh, before you you travel away. Okay, now we got the little poppet. Um, let's take a little bit of a look at him. Oh look, I think he likes you. He's rather sweet, really. In a decaying undead sort of way. <laughs> okay, so now we have the meatless mutt. Why do I like him so much despite the fact he doesn't get involved in combat? Well, for starters, you can have him and another pet, a pet. So, for example, you can have him and a goth or a reekling um, or Miko or whoever. Uh, he has a carry weight of 200, so for example, you can be halfway through a dungeon, you can load him up, send him home. Uh, once you finish, you can fast travel home and summon him to you. Super handy. But most of all, 
While he's with you, he gives you the Bone Wolf's Revenge perk, which makes spells 25% more effective and 50% longer duration. Physical ta attacks are 25% more effective, all against the undead and ne necromancers. And it does stack with the Necromage perk if you use that perk. So really good in those dungeons, those nasty droggers. Uh, the thing is a brilliant help, especially at low level, but still super helpful throughout your whole game. And he's kind of cute in a weird little way. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you next one and uh, love you.